Hey there my fellow designers and creators, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Pilot and I'm back again today with a very new exciting video. And in this video, we're gonna be reviewing another new design tool called S Tweaker. It's used for getting visual feedback very fast for all the design work that you need feedback on. So we're gonna go through how Tweaker works. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's a fantastic tool. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so here I am on tweaker.io and it's still in the beta version. So you guys can go ahead and definitely check it out um, and start using it right now. It's pretty simple and pretty awesome to use. I'm gonna to talk to you about how this works and who it would be most beneficial for. All right, so this is a website and basically this is how you get started with Tweaker. Uh, you could go ahead and then just drag and drop in your files, which you want feedback on. And a little bit of information over here, you can collaborate, it's simple. You don't have to waste a lot of hours using endless email replies. And they show you a little bit of process of you upload your file, you share the link and then you get to add the feedback. They also show a mini preview, getting feedback, discussions and easy sharing. And this is a bit about their team. And these are actually by five design students and engineering students, I guess. I'm not quite sure what they're studying, but all of them are studying, which is pretty awesome. So hats off to these guys. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and then just drag and drop your files or you know import any images. Now these guys sent me over a couple of screenshots, uh, you know, just for reference and it shows you the name, size, and file format, and you can add more files. I'm not quite sure what the limit is, uh, but uh, you you can add quite a lot of uh, ones. And also, another thing that you can do is you can import a lot of file formats, JPEG, SVG, PNG, um, PDF. You cannot import video files though. These are just uh, P images. And uh, this is your email ID. You would have to put in your email ID. I'm gonna go with my this one, and I'm gonna click on upload. So it's gonna go ahead and quickly upload it, and it's done. All right, so, you will have to write in your name. So I'm just gonna type in my name and I'm gonna go ahead and create project. It's gonna give a little bit of a small onboarding process, but I'm gonna show you how this works anyway. So this is the interface, it's super clean, it's super awesome. And I'm gonna explain this in two ways. One is as the designer and one as the client. So me being the designer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just add in a small description and I'm gonna say this is the first draft. All right, and you can add in any kind of context you want and you can click on save. All right, so you have added your description over here. Now, if you want to explain something to the client, what you would want to do is you could go ahead and mention certain parts that you think the client needs explanation for. So there are two ways of actually pinning comments. So basically the way you pin comments is you can either click, which is gonna add in this kind of a circle, or you can go ahead and drag and you can create your own uh, box. And the cool thing is it kind of constrains itself to the actual image, uh, which is pretty nice. It doesn't go outside and it's gonna select this and then I can add in your feedback, added uh, rounded corners um, as requested, all right? So that the client understands what he had asked for. I'm gonna click on send and that's gonna go ahead and put it up over here. And then what you can do is over here, uh, every time you go and hover over these comments, it's gonna show up where it is and you yourself can type in any comment, you can like, um, you can mark as completed, you can edit, delete, you can do a lot of stuff. So if I come over here, I can choose between different images and uh, it's gonna show only the comments for those images. So if I wanna come back here, it's gonna show me the comments only for these, this image, you can add more. Now, here is uh, just you. This shows you the number of people who have commented on this project and you can obviously share the link. So this is the link that you can copy and share it to somebody else. I'm gonna show you how this works. And here you can download this image. So if you are a client and you wanna show it to somebody else, probably on a different platform like Instagram or Discord, or you just wanna share it with anybody, you can download it. You can delete the workspace if you don't want it. Uh, you can, it, this show tutorials is just gonna show you a bit about the tutorials again. And then you have show details, which shows you the type of image um, as well and the image spec specifications. And you can obviously zoom in, you can hold on space bar and you can pan around. Uh, you can do a lot of things and basically move around pretty well. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how this works for the uh, client. So let's say um, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly copy this. I'm gonna copy link and I'm gonna open up a new incognito tab. So this is incognito and I'm gonna press control V and I'm just gonna paste it over here. All right, so it first shows you have been invited to review a project by Chetan and I'm going to say, uh, client is my name, okay, Mr. Client, and I'm click on uh, continue, all right, and it's gonna show the client as well how to give feedback, so which is pretty interesting. 
all right so basically what you have mentioned also is going to be here all right now great so now i'm going to go and i'm going to say uh good job and i'm going to say thanks as well all right thanks so that gets added over here. And when you add in your first comment, it's gonna say stay in the feedback loop and enter your email to get workspace updates. So you can add in your email address as the client. The client can add in their email address to be updated with this, all right? Now the client is saying that they want to change this copy. So I can say uh, change the text copy, all right? And I'm gonna click on enter. And that's gonna add in the client change the copy over here. Pretty good. Now I can see these changes once I refresh my tab. So if I go back to my tab and you can see it's automatically refreshed. So this is not incognito. Uh, if I want to show you proof. So see, this is not incognito. This is in my normal browser and I can see information over here and I can go ahead and I can choose will change the copy. I can actually go ahead and type this to the client and I can, I can give it a thumbs up and I can say mark as completed, which is pretty good. Now this is the client's view. How do I know this is a client's view? Uh, this is, I'm in incognito now. And so as you can see, um, I have a notification over here, which is saying show comments and I'm saying that we will change the copy and I've marked it as red. So this is pretty cool. So it's super simple to get comments and it's instant, it's awesome. And it also shows that something has happened. There's a notification over here, which means that something has happened over here. And uh, this is that. And also if you come over here and click, it shows that you are online and even the client is online. So which is super awesome because you would know that the client is replying back to you when whether he's awake, whether he's seeing the messages. So it's easy to know. Now I've added a little bit more images over here just to give you guys an idea of the types of things that designers can use to get feedback on. Let's say you're a logo designer, you can put in your presentation over here. You're a mascot logo designer who does, you could give feedback immediately saying, uh, this is awesome, change the color, um, you know, make it more angry, whatever you want. Uh, if you do illustrations, that could be a good way. If you do photography, you can share your images, you don't have to share them. A files over the drive, it can save a lot of effort by just quickly putting up your photos over here and UI design as well. Now when it comes to UI design, tools like Adobe XD and Sketch and Figma, um, XD has its own built-in way of sharing designs. Uh, Figma also has it built in. But if you're making singles, quick UI designs to quickly show some kind of concept or to the client, the directions, this could be definitely be an awesome, simple way of doing it. It's really effective and really fast as well. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye-bye.